Okay, so it's official. We are out of the Portsmouth house. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we're on to the next leg of the adventure. We are heading on our way to Weymouth in the Dorset Coast area, and then on to Cornwall, so. I'm gonna miss it here in Portsmouth though. I'm trying to think up if there's any last minute souvenir I could get. Yeah. Over whole month here. <laughs> Other than all of our pictures and memories. So uh, let's go check it out. Since we had limited time, we decided to prioritize our drive to Weymouth to go explore over grabbing some last minute souvenirs in Portsmouth. It was about a two hour drive by car where we waved goodbye to Hampshire and said a big hello to Dorset. Hey guys, so we just checked into our guest house, I guess. Guest uh, house. It's a believe. guest house. It's called the Stones Throughout. It's a here. breakfast, if you will. Yes, a B&B. Um, but it's here in Weymouth in Dorset. So we are going to go check out Weymouth today. It's right on the coast in southern England. Um, and it's not too cold out. I just for some reason am feeling cold. So I'm wearing gloves. <laughs> So yeah, so we're gonna go check it out. Um, and I see the ocean, so uh, we'll pick it back up there. All right guys, so I know it's not picking it up, but there is a little bit of a rainbow over there. Just, just a little bit. Between a few of those cruise ships. Yeah, this is, this is great. All right. Stunning. And I was told that is a Jubilee clock for Queen Victoria. So that's cool. <laughs> Something tells me that's not cookies. Yard chips away. After a refreshing pint on the harbor, we crossed the town bridge. Funny enough, this little bridge has quite a few Google reviews, with our favorite being simply, Great Bridge, thumbs up emoji. This picturesque seaside town actually traces its roots all the way back to the 12th century, beginning as two separate towns that were eventually united under Queen Elizabeth I in order to stop all of their constant bickering. Not all of Weymouth's history is happy though. It is believed that Weymouth was the first port at which Black Death entered England in 1348. In more modern times, Weymouth played an important role in World War II, acting as the port of departure for thousands of troops on D-Day in the Allied invasion of Normandy. Yeah, 
guys just need to check in because this place is freaking magical and gorgeous and awesome and that's not just the pint talking look at this lovely it is so beautiful here we're in weymouth um right on the key like the weymouth harbor that kind of split two sides of the town so this is the so weymouth is at the mouth of the way river is that yes. you told me hey it makes sense um and so there's two sides we're walking away from the ridge right now to try to catch some of the sunset because it's looking pretty cotton candy -y and pretty um but yeah it's awesome so far we're really excited we're absolutely in love beautifully with each other and the town The Noth Fort was built in the 1800s while the area experienced heavy militarization for the Royal Navy during the Victorian era. This is my way. All right, we're missing the colors. We're at the North Fort right now. Derek's taking some video and photos, but check out the sunset. It is epic. Here in Weymouth, and here's the fort now. I'm gonna go up this trail and hopefully get some pictures of the Dorset coast on this other side of this peninsula. Although we didn't go into the fort, we heard that there are also tunnels built into the fort and throughout the Noth Peninsula as further protection for the troops. What a sunset. Gorgeous. This has been an amazing welcome to this city. We should have stayed here for longer. <laughs> Two nights is probably not going to be enough. Nowadays, Weymouth is best known for commercial fishing, ferries crossing the channel, cruise ships, sailboats, and private yachts. Notably, Weymouth and the neighboring Portland Island area were home to the sailing events of the 2012 Olympic Games. dark but we just got drinks here at that really cute place um, called like the new rooms Inn, and it was yeah, old rooms old, uh, sorry old. old rooms Inn. it was very nice old. and you know one thing that I would say is that if you don't mind getting a drink and you need to use a toilet just go get a beer and use their toilets it's great um, now we're gonna run off to drop off our stuff at our Airbnb not our Airbnb our actual guest house and then run to dinner because we have reservations at a nice little Italian spot called Enzo that we're really excited for. So let's go check it out. Literally the day that I post the video about needing a Sharpie, we genuinely needed a Sharpie. Derek's filling up the track and trace for this restaurant. Hey travelers, we are at Enzo and Weymouth right on the, um, I guess, harbor front, right on the Esplanade here. And our food just came and it looks so good. I cannot wait to eat. Definitely recommend Enzo here in Weymouth. Especially, I got the spaghetti fruité de mar and it was delightful. It looked awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I got the uh, carbonara, it was very good too. Good Aperol spritz, tasty pasta, nice all good. Staff. Yeah, nice staff. It was all really cool. Um, highly recommend it. And we were the only Americans there, but I mean that's the common theme. Yeah, of this I mean trip. <laughs> currently there's not a lot of us here in the UK. We are calling it a night. We just got done with dinner, and we are walking back to our guest house. And I will say, I mean, Weymouth is a beautiful town. I've really loved it. Like the shoreline. Like it, I was telling Liz earlier um, while we were getting drinks that it was kind of like being in Amsterdam a little bit, like along the canals with the uh, the river that. and the reflections it's and whatnot. It's not Amsterdam, it's but, not, it's, but it's it's really like a really awesome kind of coastal city. Yeah. Um, we really liked our dinner tonight. It was at Enzo, right on Weymouth Bay, which is right behind us. 
and you can kind of see in the distance there's all these cruise ships in the in the bay anchored because of course there's not a lot of cruising going on and we're right outside of the jubilee the victoria jubilee clock um which has a green face in the evenings who knew so that's from the 1800s and we're having a great time walking back and i think we're gonna what are we gonna do with the rest of the night netflix netflix and chill i suppose <laughs> So, See you guys tomorrow when we go to the Dorset Coast. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed following us along on this really short video about uh, Weymouth. And it's awesome. Bye. Cheers. Hey, travelers. Don't forget to subscribe. And let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel. And press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.